I've mentioned about perseverance relating to your videos and getting used to your camera and stuff and I want to give an example this morning. Here's a time lapse using a GoPro camera. This is the first time I've used the time lapse feature on the camera and you'll see a few issues with it. The first issue you'll notice is there's no sun. This, I'd actually got up early to do the uh, sunrise, get the sun coming up uh, over the lake. Didn't, didn't materialize. Next thing is there's too much angle here. There is too much ground. You can only just catch the lake and then the, you've got the clouds coming in from the top. So I need to do something about that. The GoPro may not be good enough for doing it at this low level. If I was up on a mountain, for example, looking down, wouldn't be a problem. Next issue is obviously it's been a bit of rain, so doesn't have a lot of color to it and the light isn't fantastic but also taking the angle of the camera I tried it sitting inside the van and basically it catches the edge of the van doors so I've got to take it external why is that important I know now I cannot do it from in inside the van which could have meant in the future I thought all right I'll set up to do something wildlife and just do it from inside the van I can't with the GoPro it, it'll just look naff for these little edges of the, uh, the the doors of the van so although the actual video footage wasn't as good as it could have been there's a lot of new things learned the other thing was this the speed of the actual um, card the memory card it wasn't fast enough to do the photos every five seconds um, what I had is some pictures where like the the bottom half was missing a third missing and it, the, because it hasn't written them fast enough to the card so I know the card isn't as good as it could be there's a lot of things here that I've learned by going out on an early morning just to play with the camera and see how I get on. If I'd got the sunrise, it would have been fantastic. At the same time, I'm now looking at, okay, well, I need to do something about this. I want to get the the size of the lake up on the picture. So I've got the thirds, you know, I've got the lake in the middle, the ground down here, and the clouds here. So I've got to do something about that, which may involve actually putting the DSLR on with a larger lens. Um, at a higher level to try and get the angle right so there's lots of stuff to look at and this is what I'm saying don't get disheartened when you go out and the pictures look terrible look at your pictures and analyze what hasn't gone right and what has because what went right with this today well I know I where I need to position the camera I know that the time lapse actually works and although I've had problems with some of the pictures losing the bits and pieces even cutting it out it didn't make too much of a difference to the actual camera run at the end it was still flowing a little bit slow at the start because there seems to have been a few more slides missing from the start but it still worked so just practice keep going and like I say just try these things let me know what you tried let me see how you get on. You know, if something you did something today that you haven't tried before, what did you learn? All right, thanks for watching.